welcome back. Thank you for um, checking back in. Um, so before we start the video, I just want to thank everybody who has uh, liked and subscribed. I got several new subscribers off of the last video that we posted and it's only been a week. So I'm actually very um, encouraged to continue making videos just based on that. So I want to give a huge thanks to you guys. Uh, need some new viewers um, just so that way, not new viewers, but new subscribers and people to continuously check in so that way I can continue to make these videos um, and hopefully achieve the end goal for my channel one day. So, um, but enough about that. So today I want to review the Staccato P in terms of another range review. So we have put this gun through 750 rounds total. Um, last video we ended out at 275. So um, the whole point of the channel is to give recommendations. I did a lot of my own investigation on this um, modification for the Ignis ports. And um, that was what led me to physically do it in the first place. And the whole um, point of the reviews for this is just to, you know, let you know if you have a Staccato P, you want some additional performance out of it and you want to do it reliably. Uh, mainly because this does warrant avoid uh, your warranty. It is very important to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into, right? Nobody wants to buy an expensive gun and then render it useless um, due to a modification that you chose to do. So this is, again, 750 rounds through. I've had zero malfunctions, zero issues of any kind. Um, you can see that is about as much, uh, we'll say debris, on the barrel as you're going to get. Again, it is functioned flawlessly. I have noticed the trigger has gotten even better than last time, uh, which is pretty hard to imagine. It is a three pound weight that they give me. It seems like it got a little bit lighter than that maybe after I broke it in. Um, I do really, really like it. It makes it insanely easy to have some accurate shootings. I'm going to show you a couple groups that I had about 50 feet away. Um, and I'm very, very happy with it. And this was not slow shooting by any means. Um, again, I went by myself. I don't have any range footage of me physically doing it. I'm not a professional shooter. I don't think over the course of my entire um, career shooting guns, I don't even think I'm anywhere near 30,000 rounds, just so you guys have, uh, you know, and that's a pretty high number for the average newbie. Um, but, you know, something to really... Um, consider is you know really whatever you do to your gun you should always test it out make sure your gun works I know a lot of people that they'll buy a gun they never even shoot it and that's just what they you know have to defend their house or life or whatever the situation is no matter what you do even if the gun is brand new you should always test it out make sure that your gun works properly another thing that's going to be very important is ammunition so that's something that's not talked about enough, um, not to get too far off on the range report here. We'll get back to this guy in just one second, but ammo does play a big uh, part in your handgun's performance. So um, on the heels of that, I only have shot, I've shot Norma through this gun, um, Norma ammunition. I've shot brass and I've shot federal so far. So with that being said, and I just, you know, what I do is I'll kind of, you know, buy a thousand round count and then I'll mix it up just so that way you're getting a little bit of each through the magazines. I don't try to separate and only shoot federal, only shoot this, only shoot that. Um, so far, 750 rounds through with mixed ammunition, no issues. I've even mixed in um, some cheaper hollow tips, uh, IMI defense, <laughs> just because they're cheap. Um, I like to throw them through just to make sure that the guns don't have any issues uh, feeding hollow tips, nothing so far. I've uh, mix those in. I've put a handful of Sig Sig Sour uh, 124 grain um, hollow tips as well. No issues there. Again, I just like to kind of mix some stuff through, especially like some of my old older uh, ammunition for hollow tips. I'll throw them in there. I've had a couple Federal in there as well. Federal's really good stuff. My favorite ammo to shoot is Federal. I think it's the most accurate. Just a, a, from my opinion, I, I really like it. So. Um, and I have tried other brands, um, a couple other ones. I feel like Blazer's just getting a little bit to be a little bit messy. I don't know. This is my personal opinion. However, um, back to this guy again. So 
I've had no issues. I have felt the trigger get better. I have felt the recoil spring start to feel a little bit smoother as well. And it's already incredibly smooth, but it's, it's getting even smoother than incredibly smooth. So I'm really happy with how that's going. Um, so our next range review will be physically at 1,250 rounds. Um, don't want to on-go the video, any specs or anything like that you can physically get off a website. Um, if you do choose to go through Vulcan, just so you know, something you can expect, I didn't talk about this in the last video, um, was the wait time. The wait time is it took them about 10 days to process the gun in for work. Once it was in the queue for work, they promised me about six to eight weeks and it took seven. So right in the middle, exactly what to expect, but you got to wait for that, um, that update for it to be in for work or processing or whatever the, the case is i forget what it what it is so i think it's processing and then you get in for work then your timeline starts so once it's in for work um you're pretty good to go but um and they're they're pretty honest about their timeline so as long as you um you know are there that's when your timeline will start and you'll be good to go from there um so i really do like this gun this has been my favorite one that i've ever done and I really haven't virtually done almost anything myself to it. Um, I'm really happy with the work they did. They did a really nice flush fit. Um, I didn't want it crowned. I just wanted a flush fit. They do flush and crown, but if you call them uh, or put in the order comments, say that you want to do flush, they can do flush. Um, and I really like it. Ended out really well. Um, I don't have anything else really. I haven't noticed any issues. There's been no malfunctions. Everything has worked properly. Um, so like I said, next video will be 1250 rounds in regards to this guy, but that will not be next week's video. Next week's video will be my newest gun collection, uh, newest gun to the collection, which is this P320 X5 Legion. So stay tuned, um, for our, the range report on this guy, how it did, uh, my initial thoughts and everything like that. Um, I mainly bought this gun because of price point it comes in right at MSRP at $9.99 and you can find it cheaper uh, depending on where your, your local dealer is, who you know there, or if you buy it online. So thank you guys for watching and um, this concludes uh, today's video.